All right, last time we dove into cirrhosis, the point when the liver's so scarred, it's basically fighting for its life. But today, let's rewind a bit and talk about fibrosis. Why? Because that's the stage when you can still slam on the brakes. See, liver disease isn't an overnight flip. It's a slow, sneaky process that creeps up in stages. First, there's inflammation. Imagine your liver getting a little puffy and irritated, usually because of things like viruses, alcohol, too much fat. Most of the time, you don't even feel it. Maybe some fatigue or a weird twinge in your side, but that's about it. The good news? If you catch this early, you can reverse it. But if you let that inflammation stick around, your liver starts laying down scar tissue. This is fibrosis. Think of it like a cut that keeps scabbing over. The liver's still working, but those scars are quietly building up. And here's the thing. You probably won't feel a thing. No alarms, no flashing red lights. That's why I'm focusing on fibrosis now. Because unlike cirrhosis, where the damage is mostly permanent, early fibrosis is a window of hope. Stage 3. Cirrhosis. Extensive scar tissue replaces healthy liver tissue, causing structural changes and impaired blood flow. Symptoms include fatigue, easy bruising, swelling in legs and abdomen, jaundice, confusion. Stage 4. End stage liver disease. The liver can no longer carry out vital functions. Stage 5. Liver cancer risk increases significantly with long-standing cirrhosis. Key point, early stages, inflammation and fibrosis, are reversible with treatment and lifestyle changes. Cirrhosis and beyond usually are not, making early detection critical. Catch it here, and with the right steps you can actually heal. So if you care about your liver, and trust me you should, this is the turning point. Early is everything. Stick around because next time I'll break down how we actually find inflammation fibrosis before it's too late. Don't let your liver's warning signs go unheard.